Stefano Tsitsipas is a Greek professional tennis player who currently holds the number one ranking in Greece and previously ranked number one in the world among junior players. Known for his strength and versatility, he's one of the biggest stars in the tennis world. Welcome to the Rich Rabbit. And today, we'll be talking about the Greek prodigy Stefano Tsitsipas. But first things first, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do consider doing it, because your support matters a lot and we make videos just for you. When he was only three years old, Tsitsipas began playing tennis with his parents, who worked as coaches at a summer resort in Greece. He trained under his father, a traveling coach, and his mother, a former professional tennis player and a coach. He began his junior career in 2013 at the tender age of 15. In 2014, he reached the final of Orange Bowl, a prestigious junior tennis tournament, even though he lost to Stefan Koslov in the final. He repeated his success in 2015 as well, again reaching the final of the tournament, but he failed to secure the title this time as well, losing to Miomir Kichmanovic. He later moved from his hometown near Athens to train in Moratulu Tennis Academy in France and saw a big change in his game in 2016 which became a turning point in his career. He won the Grade A event Trofeo Bonfilio in Milan, his first significant trophy. It was followed by the boys' doubles win at the Junior Wimbledon Championships in London. Riding on his success, he reached the number one rank amongst world junior tennis players that year. In 2017, he made his Grand Slam debut at the French Open and went on to qualify for the main draw by defeating Thomas Fabiano, Gleb Sakharov and Oscar Ott, but lost to Ivo Karlovic in straight sets. After losing in qualifying at the US Open, Tsitsipas won his first challenger title in Genoa. Overall, he qualified for a tour best eight events during the season, including Wimbledon and the Shanghai Masters. However, he did not win a tour level match until the very end of the season, when he defeated fellow next-gen player Karen Kachanov in Shanghai. At the European Open in Belgium the following week, Tsitsipas reached his first ATP semi-final as a qualifier. During the event, he upset hometown favorite and world number 10, David Goffin, for his first career top 10 victory. With this run, Tsitsipas became the first Greek player to be ranked in the top 100 of the ATP rankings, accomplishing the feat at the age of 19. He also reached a high enough ranking to be named an alternate for the next-gen ATP finals. Tsitsipas closed out the season with another challenger final, this time in Brest. After losing in the opening round in his Australian Open debut, his best result in the rest of the early year hardcore season was another quarter-final at the Dubai Tennis Championships. Tsitsipas's first breakthrough of the year came at the Barcelona Open during the clay court season where he reached his first career ADP final without dropping a set. During the ADP 500 series tournament, he defeated three top 20 players, including number seven, Dominic Thiem, before losing to the world number one, Rafael Nadal in a lopsided match. With this result, Tsitsipas moved into the top 50 and became the second Greek to reach an ATP final. His performance also gained national attention in Greece, where tennis is not a widely popular sport. The following week at the Estoril Open, he reached another semi-final. He also picked up a third career top 10 victory over number 8 Kevin Anderson. Tsitsipas closed out the clay court season by winning his first career Grand Slam match at the French Open against Carlos Taberner before losing to Thiem, the eventual runner-up. He played the next Grand Slam at Wimbledon, seeded for the first time at number 31. He took advantage of the seed and produced his best result at a major tournament at the time, 
a fourth round loss to world number 10 at that time, John Isner. At the US Open, Tsitsipas made his main draw debut, but was upset in the second round by fellow next generation player Daniil Medvedev. He cited fatigue as a factor in the loss and proceeded to exit before the quarterfinals at three of his next four tournaments as well. However, Tsitsipas was able to recover at the Stockholm Open. Playing as the third seed, he defeated second seed and number 14, Fabio Fognini, in the semi finals, before winning in the final against veteran qualifier Ernest Gulpis. With this victory, he became the first Greek player to win an ADP title. Tsitsipas closed out his season at the next gen ADP finals. He was at the top seed at the event and was drawn with Francis Tiafo, Hubert Hurakash, and Jaume Monar. Tsitsipas swept his group and defeated Andre Rublev to advance to the final against second seed Alex de Monar. He defeated the Australian in four sets to win the next gen finals. At the end of the year, Tsitsipas was named the ADP Most Improved Player for his breakthrough season. At the 2019 Australian Open, Tsitsipas reached his first major semi-final, despite having won just five Grand Slam singles matches in total the previous year. All five of his wins at the event came in four sets. He upset world number three and defending champion Roger Federer in the fourth round. He did so by saving all 12 of the break points he faced in a rematch of their Hopman Cup encounter earlier in the month. After continuing his run against Roberto Bautista Agut, he easily lost to number 2 Nadal, winning only 6 games. Nonetheless, his performance helped him climb to career best ranking of number 12 in the world to become the highest ranked Greek player in history. Tsitsipas built on his Grand Slam success by reaching two finals in February in back-to-back -back weeks. He won his second career title at the Open 13 in Marseille over Mikhail Kukushkin before finishing runner-up to Federer at the Dubai Tennis Championships. His performance in Dubai put him in the top 10 of the ADP rankings for the very first time. At the French Open, Tsitsipas was upset in the fourth round by Stan Wawrinka in a marathon five-set match that ended 6-8 in the final set. Despite a strong first half of the season, Tsitsipas began to struggle following the French Open. He lost his opening round matches at Wimbledon and the US Open to Thomas Fabiano and Andre Rublev respectively and both Masters tournaments in August. Despite this, he reached the career best ranking of number 5 in early August. Tsitsipas ultimately rebounded beginning in October. He defeated Zverev again at the China Open on his way to finishing runner-up to number 5 Dominic Thiem. He then made two semi-finals at the Shanghai Masters and the Swiss Indoors, losing to other top 5 players Medvedev and Federer. At the end of the season, Tsitsipas qualified for the ADP Finals for the first time, where he was placed in a round-robin group with Nadal, Zverev and Medvedev. He defeated both Medvedev and Zverev to advance to the knockout stages after two matches. But he lost his last group match to Nadal. In the semi-finals, Tsitsipas defeated Federer to set up a final against Thiem. Tsitsipas won the championship in a tight match that ended in a third set tiebreak and became the youngest winner of the year-end championship since Letton Hewitt in 2001. He finished the 2019 at number 6 in the world. He entered the 2020 Australian Open seeded 6 in the men's bracket. But he failed to repeat his success of 2019, losing in the third round to Milos Raonic. At the US Open, he was seeded fourth in the men's bracket. He beat Albert Ramos Vignolas and Maxime Crassi without dropping a set, before losing to Borna Koric in the third round 
despite having six match points. At the French Open, he was seeded fifth and reached the semi-final, defeating Grigor Dimitrov and Rublev, before losing to Djokovic in five sets. Tsitsipas was unable to defend his 2019 ADP Finals title. He was eliminated from the season-ending event with a 1-2 record during the round-robin portion of the competition. Tsitsipas started his 2021 Australian Open campaign with a comfortable straight sets win over Giles Simon, before surviving a five-set thriller with Tanasi Kokinakis. In the quarterfinals, Tsitsipas became only the second player along with Fognini at the 2015 US Open to beat Nadal in a Grand Slam match from two sets to Love Down. He eventually lost in the semi-finals to Medvedev. At the French Open, Tsitsipas was able to reach his second consecutive French Open semi-final and third consecutive Grand Slam semi-final. He beats Zverev in five sets to become the first Greek player in history to reach a Grand Slam final. Tsitsipas achieved a new career high of wall number four by breaking his three-match semi-final losing streak and advancing to the championship match. Tsitsipas lost the final to world number one Djokovic in five sets after holding a two sets to love lead. The Greek star suffered an early exit at Wimbledon, losing to Francis Tiafo in the first round. He took his revenge for the Wimbledon loss by defeating the American in the second round at the 2020 Olympics. He lost in the third round to Hugo Humbert of France in three sets. At the US Open, Tsitsipas defeated Andy Murray in five sets and Adrian Manarino in four sets to reach the third round. In the third round, he was defeated in five sets with a final set tiebreak by world number 55 and 18 year old Carlos Alcaraz. So, with those amazing accomplishments out of the way, let's talk about his personal life. Tsitsipas studied at an English language school in his youth. He can speak English, Greek, and Russian. His hobbies include vlogging. He hosts his own YouTube channel where he posts videos of his travels. Tsitsipas is in a relationship with Theodora Petalos. The pair have been dating for more than three years after Tsitsipas first met her in New York. Tsitsipas credits his mother's twin sister, who's also a professional tennis player, for helping him with the family's finances so that he could afford to travel with his father to train and compete during his junior career. But things are not the same anymore. The Greek professional tennis player has a net worth of $11 million as of 2021. Tsitsipas also has several endorsements up his kitty. His rackets are sponsored by Wilson Sporting Goods. And his sporting apparel and shoes are sponsored by Adidas. Besides this, he also has an endorsement deal with luxury watchmaker Rolex, an Australian deodorant brand Rexona. And with that, it's about time we call it a day. But we sure hope that you liked the video, and if you did, then why not subscribe and click the bell icon while you add it. Your valuable suggestions are very important to us, so do post them in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video.